And we are not going to accept that one to be 20 percent. That in this challenging moment, if you can't use one city 20 percent to buy any food, you are not going to accept it today, tomorrow, always, promise, next week, next week. How? So we can use one city 20 percent to cook for a child that we want to give uh, him or her a better uh, um, nutrition. At the Environmental Protection Agency, I'm talking about the EPA, have launched a campaign against improper disposal of plastic waste. Well, the campaign is part of activities to educate the public on how to deal with plastic waste, which is becoming a menace in the country. The campaign will see service personnel visit schools, lorry parks, and media stations to educate the public on how to deal with plastic waste. The campaign is in partnership with Pomacido Ghana and some environmentalists who spend time showcasing the new ways of dealing with plastic waste. Dr. Kokofu called on personnel to begin advocating for segregation of waste in order to make it easy for them to be disposed of properly. And you don't need to have uh, a degree at Legon or uh, Kevas to segregate your waste. Do you? Putting the right waste in the right dustbin. Is that okay? Yes. yes. So we want to encourage you all as students. Today we are here with some dustbins with various labels on them. We have one for plastics, one for paper, and one for organic waste. <laughs> Now, a social media community on Facebook has launched a campaign to deal with the menace of plastic waste. So for us, the idea was, okay, social media is popular across Ghana, across Africa. What we wanted to look at was, how do we make sure that the time that young people are spending on social media benefits uh, our societies? So the I Commit Challenge basically is, next week on the 17th, we're going to go to some trotter stations. But then the idea was, how do we go into society when we ourselves haven't taken the commitment? Because if we have a community of 150,000, if everybody decided not to later, that would make a significant impact. Uh, our approach to it is that it's not going to be just one day and everybody's going to stop littering. With the menace of plastic waste in the country, the government will soon roll out a policy known as the quadruple P, producer, polluter, peace principle which will ensure producers of such products pay for their contribution to the problem. So those who are, who are producing who, they must be fashioned away as to how we, we levy them in order to be able to uh, recycle, collect this waste in the system, recycle them, and then make productive use of them. So the, the, the producer will have to pay, and then the polluter, Kigali or Rwanda have shown the way. Uh, the success story at Rwanda can be replicated here. It's a problem that has been deviled us. And ladies and gentlemen, the solution, I believe, lies in our hands. It's about plastic waste. Plastic pollution in today's world has become one of the most alarming environmental issues. The world is being overburdened with the rapid increase in the production of disposable plastic products. Clear. A titanic contest it is going to be between a crack girl at Shimonto School and Preset Lego Lady Girl. We all know that plastics on their own is not a bad thing, but it's the way we have failed to appreciate the harm that it can do to the environment and most importantly for our theme today, the ocean. In 2012, global experts did a study on ocean health and Ghana scored 65 out of 100. This shouldn't make us happy. 
In 2012, the Ministry of uh, Local Government did a project and said that waste is a resource. Oh, yeah. Now let, let's move on to the founder and CEO of Nel Plast Eco Ghana, Nelson Boating. Nelson Boating is an eco entrepreneur running a plastic recycling business for years. Um, the key areas that was looked at are the ability of the ocean to be able to provide food as an ecosystem service, the ability of the ocean to support artisanal um, fisheries or fishing opportunities, or ocean ecosystems to protect our coastlines against um, natural hazards, the ability of the ocean to capture carbon and so many other stuff, and also how clean our oceans are. I'm going to mention a company that adds value to plastic waste in Ghana. Your duty would be to indicate what the company produces from plastic waste. Now, Nel Plast, N E L P L A S T, producing different products from shopping bags to bricks for roads, affordable housing made from plastics. His company uses all kinds of plastic waste in production of building materials for construction, such as bricks for roads, building or roof tiles. So with Nelplast, we see plastic to be a valuable resource, and not a threat to the environment it properly manage. What do they produce from plastic waste? Nelplast. What do they produce? Oh la la. Yes, your turn. Um, Achimota. Plastic bottles. Plastic bottles. Yes. Plastic chairs. They, they produce plastic modified pavement and building blocks. Of these measures, the ability of our oceans to provide foods called 44 out of 100. And then when we look at areas like clean ocean, our ocean scored 33, very low. Then sustainable um, ecotourism from the ocean, we scored as low as 13 over 100. So this means that obviously, these are the areas that we need to start improving. Uh, we're talking about pollution, uh, plastic pollution. Who, who, who's, doing, who, who's doing it? We. Dr. Kokofu. Yeah. Fifth June each year is the day set aside by the United Nations to globally mark the celebration of the World Environment Day. When you take World Environment, and uh, the world is W, isn't The environment is E, so it becomes we. When it comes to environment, it, it's everybody's case. If you look at the pie chart we have, our waste mainly is organic. 62% is organic. Per the data I have, plastics form 17% of the waste. Mm. Countries are looking at different ways on ensuring that plastic, this plastic ban does come on. However, what we've realized as different countries, because different countries have different realities, and so what we've realized is that it's important that we have a policy that guides this. We have a, a date by which we feel we would have worked the process up to the point where we think people have understood what, what we mean when we say we ban plastics. Because if you just go out and you, you go to there and you say, okay, we ban plastics, as a regulator, it would be wonderful for us. However, is that sustainable? So I must commend all of you, yes, for splendid work. They are strong and durable, they are light in weight, they remain in their form for a long time. They do not allow gases to penetrate easily and they can be molded and shaped into several forms and they are not easily attacked by chemicals and last but not least, they are impermeable to water and gases. Now listen, Atomotra is still on the floor. Plastic has been one of the greatest inventions of our modern time and have become a valuable commodity and an important part of everyday life. 
Now, plastics, you know, um, they find their use in various applications and in many sectors such as food and beverages, pharmaceuticals, agriculture, agro-business, aviation, automobile, and a host of other sectors, you know, of both global and national economies. Now, plastics are so appealing for, for use in almost all aspects of our life. However, these very good qualities make them problematic and harmful to the environment. Now, globally, plastic production grew from 1.5 million metric tons per annum in the 1950s to almost 322 million tons in 2015. What was the production rate per ton in 2017? I put it to you. 400 million metric tons. Sorry? 400 million. 400 million metric tons. So without really talking so much, let me go ahead to first of all welcome the very venerable Honorable Cecilia Dapa, the Minister of Sanitation and Water Resources. She's a minister that I really admire. The study seeks to suggest there is some lack or some lack of effective coordination among government agencies, government ministries, and all stakeholders in this ecosystem of plastics or in the fight against the ocean, the protection of the oceans itself. We have tossed around this idea of having plastic recycling in all the assemblies. And a pilot is being uh, considered. In fact, three ministries are handling this, MESTI, Sanitation and Water Resources, as well as local government and rural development. But it appears it's still an issue. How can we be able to address this lack of or limited coordination among government agencies to be able to address this very important subject matter as we speak. Now, I've, I forgot to mention this. We had this grant application with uh, UNIDO two years now to give the funds to us to what, um, increase our capacity. Can you imagine for two years now we are still planning uh, work plan, other things? How do we move forward? You even have to call that, is it ready? As if you are chasing the money for your personal uh, staff. Meanwhile, we keep talking about numbers. Yes. What are we not doing right in this case? Okay. Is government buying into this idea anyway? Okay, I'm coming there. <laughs> so we annually generate 7.2 million tons oh. of waste nationally. 17% is plastics. What do we do with this 17%? If you are looking at how the government the banks and other institutions is responding to what we're doing. It's like more of the talk, but the action, we don't do it. Even what we are doing, the government is not really patronizing our products to encourage us, and yet we will say, ah, the plastic is on the street, it's polluting. One bedroom house, I need over 13,000 kilos of plastic waste to build that house. So you can imagine if we are building thousands of them. At the end of the first round of the competition, Accra Girls Senior High School has nine points. Achimota Senior High School has ten points. And in the lead as of now is the Presbyterian Boys Senior High School Legon with eleven points.